I rather not be known in my lifetime and yet my love and my passion for him my desire to see him reveal remains unchanged heaven for me is him being with me heaven is not when i fly through the skies no if he's not there i don't want if he changes his location to hell then may i never go to heaven again it is not about the location it's about the person it's not about the throne it's him who sits on the throne if the throne is empty what should i do there i have no business with the throne you have to understand this if he's not in the church may i never have anything to do with church if he's not in ministry may i have any not never not have anything to do with ministry if he's not in my prosperity may i have nothing to do with it he becomes the epicenter of my pursuit that i desire him more than life and he says this is for me let's go to the next level can i be sincere with you i apologize if i sound harsh but many of us i can tell you the reason why you are unable is not because the devil is so powerful it's because there is there is a corruption in the sincerity of our heart this hard thing you can fast for 40 days and from day one the heart is already corrupted you will enjoy the mercy of god but i tell you if it is heaven you want to host You've heard me say it in my teachings till today when i go before god sir i don't go before him as apostle joshua selman nonsense apostle joshua selman it's men that call me apostle lord, lord your boy is still here you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond me, you look beyond me, you look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, you look beyond me, you look beyond me. Here's the part of the song I love. I'm the one. You are, you are shown mercy. You are shown me mercy. You are shown me mercy. I'm the one that you are shown me mercy. You are shown me mercy. You are shown me mercy. want to host God you must love him you must desire to see him glorified not self not ambition Jesus revealed Jesus glorified and with our hands lifted up we will worship our King, and with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love you, my King. Oh, oh, we just tell. Can I tell you sincerely? Please listen to me. I know some of you are crying. It's a very simple message tonight. I have had the honor and the privilege 
of meeting a few extremely great people believers whether in business in government in ministry and most times when i sit down with them sincerely by god there is nothing in itself that is exceptional you will look for the wow factor and not find it all your eyes will see is the the plethora of limitations yet the results remain undeniable the key is that when god comes please anyone come when your heart becomes genuinely right with god and he comes to hold you and say let's go your life becomes a wonder please listen to me you will be seeing a mountain and come close and not see it again because there is a hand that picks that mountain and men cannot see the hand so they think it's your hand that lifted it when god decides to come and stay with a man moses understood this he said do not let us depart from here if your presence we still have our weapons of war don't let us depart from here we'll only embarrass ourselves how will they know that we are different he said my presence will go with you not my presence will visit you moses knew it my presence will go with you and i by that presence david said cast me not away from your presence cast me out of the throne i agree but cast me not away from your presence he says don't take your holy spirit from me can i tell you this please look at me if you lose money and you still have him you did not lose if you lose ministry and you still have him sincerely you did not lose but no matter what else you have if he's not there you lost though you lost it's only a matter of time you will know that his presence is what controls everything i have come tonight to help you understand the spiritual protocol that governs hosting god and one of it tonight is this heart condition that i call the desire of david i desire you more than things i desire you more than rest i desire you more than money can i be sincere with you this is the grace and one of the mysteries that has kept your precious pastor the man of god 20 years with all that has happened i sat back there and while i was watching i said this is my message when you see results that humans cannot produce you know that god was involved in it and i am telling you that you don't you don't it's not a parliament that calls him to come you don't vote him to come your heart condition is the magnet that draws his presence to you there are magnets that are weak they may not be able to draw much but there are magnets that are powerful they can lift cars you can use them and lift cars your heart is that magnet when you love the lord you can sit down and an anointing will leave a conference somewhere and come and meet you in your room while you are there saying lord i may not have all it takes to serve your purposes but if for any reason you can find a vessel in me i am available and that anointing will leave a conference and come and meet you in your room some of you are crying because god has been showing you this message in dreams you have not been understanding it god is saying it's not that i cannot lift you it's not that i cannot open a door for you but your heart condition many times i restrict my blessings to preserve you because as it is if you find rest in this condition you may not even be a christian again have you not seen people who were workers in church and god just lifted them they went abroad and they came back like demons
house on the rock enugu one more time the lord is speaking to you don't just lift your heart that you can give him your heart and say lord from today you are my obsession blessing or no blessing lifting or no lifting i will teach my children your ways even when i sit on the throne i will never forget you you have become my obsession as simple and childlike as this is and he comes to you in power and will invest levels of his presence upon your life that you will be surprised you will watch doors open brothers and sisters you will see god do things in your life that you will marvel and wonder people will look at you and they cannot add up where the result is coming from but then it never stops happening because there is divine presence you have captured levels and dimensions of god please don't miss tomorrow's sessions when i found this secret i said i will never let it go my heart my heart my heart more than my prayer more than my preaching my heart my heart my heart lord i love you more than anything i love you more than ministry i'm not serving and loving you and desiring to see your kingdom come just because i'm succeeding in ministry even if i were failing my passion would not be would not change change everything in your life but leave that desire leave it there leave it there don't replace it with things don't replace it with titles don't let age fade the desire away are we blessed behold i stand at the door of your heart and i knock if you are interested i stand at the door of your heart that's the part i'm interested in. i'm knocking what is it doing at the door of your heart if you choose you can open the door and let me find space but if you think your heart is full and you are too busy i am patient i can let you be but you can open that door and i can come in and you shut that door and i will eat with you he was talking to john john the revelator was archiving what he was telling the seven churches behold he was not talking to seven unbelievers he was talking to seven churches i am still looking for your heart it's not new birth this is not giving your life to jesus he's talking about a deeper and a richer experience apostle but i've been born again that's not what i'm talking about he's still standing at the door we're going to spend 10 minutes praying please don't be distracted and the prayer is a prayer of surrender lord impart upon me the desire of david the desire of david the desire of david the desire of david according to psalm 27 please give us psalm 27 and verse 4 as we pray all the overflows outside following online we are about to pray one thing have i desired you have desired many things but leave all those desires one thing have i desired of the lord and that will i seek after that i may dwell in the house of the lord and to behold you all the days of your life are you ready to pray please lift your voice cry to the lord this is you and jesus for the next five ten minutes you and jesus your maker the one whose presence you want to see manifest in your life someone is praying someone is praying let it be from the depths of your heart let it be from the depth of your heart house on the rock enugu 
and you will stay. Pray for the desire of David. One thing have I desired. Are you praying? Please pray. Don't be tired. Take it serious. Oh, I desire you. I desire you. I desire you. The fullness of your presence and your glory in my life. Someone is praying. Nothing can take your place in my life. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Dethrone every idol. Idols of achievement. Idols of vain desires. Hallelujah. Please look at me. There are people today who threaten pastors and men of God and tell them if God does not answer my prayer, I will stop being a worker in this church. If God does not answer my prayer, I've given God, I've been a worker for one year. Can I tell you the truth? Do not make the mistake of the workers in the parable that Jesus gave. 